Hey guys, it's Bob A118, and I'm here with an airport update today. Uh, not much to talk about, really, on the airport. I did add the control tower. I put that one back. So, I got this idea from Model Airport Network, so I think this tower should be dedicated to him. He was the one who gave me the idea, so thanks a lot. Um, otherwise, yeah, it's, everything's the same. As you know, I was in Louisville, and I, uh, was trying to get those spotting videos, and guess all I got was a helicopter helicopter on approach. Yeah, I'm pissed. Okay? <laughs> look at this. The ILS localizer, runway 17 left. This was one of the approaches, but the wind was wrong that day. So they were, and I was right here on the, on runway 17 left. But they were landing on 17 right on the other side of this huge building. So I couldn't see them. I was really pissed off. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, that uh, did not make me happy. So, I was really looking forward to that, but I got the helicopter on approach, and it was kind of cool, so that was neat. I saw a bunch of C-130s while we were driving, but I didn't have my camera with me. And, um, what else did I see? I saw UPS 7-6. UPS, God, they have a ton in Louisville. It's just MD-11, 767, A-300, A-3... I don't think they have A-310s, uh... Seven fives. Gosh, they have a ton of crap there. Um, but yeah, so let's get back to this. Um, well, I did create a website uh, a while back, or well, not a while back, a couple days ago. The it's www.bob88118.webs.com, and that's gonna have some news and some of my latest videos on it. So if you want to check that out, you can. That's really I I work. I worked my tail off on that one night, so, yeah, please take a look at it, it'll be, I'll be very thankful. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm gonna go over the planes real quick, just so we know, maybe the routes change, I don't know, but, yeah, let's go over, um, okay, Qantas A380, I'm gonna have this go to, um, Melbourne this time, um, or no, Perth, Perth, it's going to Perth. And, uh, Air Jamaica, 737-800, still going to King, not Kingston, Montego Bay. Uh, the Delta, 75. Um, I actually looked up this one's registration, and it flew right over my house as it was going from San Francisco to JFK yesterday. Wasn't that, isn't that cool? It was this exact plane right over my house. <laughs> That's really neat. Um, and this one's going to be going to, um... I'm going to have it go to Atlanta, Hartsfield, Jackson. Um, United, ERJ-170, going to, um, uh, let's say, uh, Houston. Um, U.S. Airways Express, ERJ-700, going to LAX. U.S. Airways-8, Dash going to, um, yeah, let's have it go Palm Springs this time. Um, Spirit A319, uh, going to Atlantic City. Allegiant MV80, going to Chicago Rockford. Um, Air Link is just in the, still in the hangar. It's an old plane, so, you know. This one's going to be heading back to Berlin with a, a bunch of stops. It's going to be stopping in, um, New York, then... Uh, or, um, not New York. It's going to be stopping in Boston, and then Halifax, and then it's going to go over to Iceland, or Ireland, um, Shannon, Ireland, excuse me, like the Speedbird 1, which is the A318 from London City to JFK. It's going to be landing in Shannon before it continues on to Berlin for a refuel. Let's get over to Terminal 3. Well, first the cargo, even a cargo. Going to Taipei, Taiwan. I don't know how you pronounce it. Not my problem. Okay, let's see. American Triple Seven going to. Hmm, what can I have to go to? Let, you know, let's have a relocation flight this time, and let's have it go to um, Dallas, Fort Worth. Yeah, that'll be interesting. All right, let's try that. Um, Delta Stop Three Forty going to. Um, Los Angeles, LAX. 
KLM74 going, obviously going to Amsterdam Sheepool. I don't know how you pronounce that either. All right, let's go over here first. Um, American Fokker 100. Let's have it go to uh, St. Lambert, St. Louis. American BAE 146. This one, ah, God, come on, go down. There you go. No. All right, there, there. That's very satisfying. Let's have it go to um, Albuquerque International Sunport. Oh, what? Uh, you know what? Whatever. Northwest 787 going to Minneapolis St. Paul. Um, and I really should probably move this model because it is Northwest. It it's a fantasy model, but I really think it's cool, and it'll, I guess it'll stay here for a while. I'm not sure when I'll take it away. Aero Mexico 767, um, going to, uh, uh, how about, um, Puerto Valerita? Yeah, let's have, let's try that, let's try that. Um, <laughs> Aero Mexico 757 going to, uh, uh, let's say, uh, Cancun and continuing on to St. Martin. Oh, and the and the and the KLM seven four is gonna continue continue on to St. Martin too. Um oh and the Qantas A three eighty will continue continue on from Perth to Melbourne. There we go. Uh, because I that that'll be cool. Alright, well yeah, there's the over, airport overview. Um yeah, so not much really going on. I know Gemini Jet thirteen had this whole like thing between him and Gemini Jets 5. And, yeah, I do have a Phoenix Sky Harbor. I know it's not the best, because I don't have a large U.S. Airways fleet. I'm still trying to find a really good model at a fair price, because all the models I've found are crappy prices. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to expand that. Don't worry, I'm going to do that soon. Probably my birthday is coming up in one week. Yeah, one week. I'm really pumped. Um, so hopefully, if I don't get a U.S. Airways model, I will buy one afterwards. I will say that, probably. That's probable, I'm pretty sure. Um, if I can afford it. I'm not really not sure yet, but, um, let's see what happens. Yeah, so also, for my birthday, I made a whole big list of models that I could, um, that I would, like, so, uh, a couple, let's include the Scoot 777, the Virgin Australia 777, American 75, I bet I'll get the American 75, that would make me kind of happy. U.S. Air 75, that's the, that's the U.S. Airways model I really want. If I got a U.S. Air model, I want it, 757. Um, what else? I have the JC Wings, Cathay Pacific A340. I don't know if I already said, but the China Southern A380. I really like that one. Um, Air Canada CRJ. I think it's the JC Wings version, but I honestly don't care which one. Um, also, maybe a United Q400 would be cool. I don't have any. I only have one United model. It's not a new livery. There it is. The ERJ170 made by Herpa. So yeah, I think that's it for this airport update. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and oh, let's dedicate this air this um, video to my airport network because he was the one who gave me the control control tower idea. So yeah, this video is dedicated to him. Um, he deserves it. Thank you, my airport network. You're a great guy. Um, let's close that video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.